Hey you guys, back again with another video. This is part two to making mini chocolate chip cookies. I didn't realize my phone cut off, so, cause that's the phone I don't know how many minutes is left. So I looked up and I um, saw that it wasn't recording. So I said, dang, I really do need a better phone that holds way more storage. Cause these, these phones I have don't want me to be great. So I'm going to try six for now. We're going to do six. We're going to bake six. My, my batter never been this, um, my cookie dough never been this thin. But we're going to try it. Okay, five to six minutes in the oven on 350. Five to six minutes. I'm going to try it and if I don't like how it the texture is, I'm going to add more flour to it. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to take out the cookies. And we're going to see how it comes out. Waiting for the alarm to go off. And, you know, um, yeah. So I'm going to see how these cookies. Ooh. Hold on. Alexa, dismiss timer. I may have. Ooh. Wow. Really? I got to add more flour. Oh, look at this, y'all. <laughs> wow. I have to add more flour. Wow. These things. I knew it was like too thin. That's why it's good to stick with what you know. Wow, huh? I'm gonna try another. I'm gonna try another batch. Look at this. Look how these came out. Something. Look how flat they are. You know when I want my cookies. You know what this look like? It's a cookie that that looks like this. But when I want my cookies like this, it don't even come out like this. So we are going to add two more tablespoons of flour what they call that peanut griddle is a type of cookie that's really flat like that my mom used to always bring home cookies like that from work like when they have like a party at her job you know wow i'm, I'm not i'm not throwing that out child child these 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 stuff the way prices are in these stores mm-mm Ain't nothing wrong with them cookies. Oh, you know what I should have put them in? My whoopie pie pan. I did not think of that. Dang. So we just put two more tablespoons of flour. I'm just going to add this to the recipe. Like, I'm just going to add, you know, whatever the equivalency is, you know? Like, I know it says what? Three, four plus one table. I'm gonna like, okay, so that's technically gonna be one cup of flour because it says three fourth cup plus one tablespoon. So I just added two more to it, so that's about three. So you just might as well just add one to be a cup. Wow, <laughs> I'm not gonna throw that out. We're gonna, we gonna do what it do. Um, waste not, want not. Mm -mm. Y'all know how much these ingredients are? How much this costs? How much gluten-free flour costs? How much all the ingredients that I've just used cost? The sugar, both sugars, the, um, butter, the, um, what they call that other one? Vanilla extract. Let me get my whoopie pie pan. So I added another tablespoon of flour so that was a total of three tablespoons i added of flour so yeah mm. i have to get me some more um what they call them things oh uh, bacon pans so i'm using this and also when i do make my cookies 
they go in the refrigerator to avoid that. But I'm going to definitely eat that. Sure. And let me tell y'all something about these, um, these mini chips. They don't come cheap. And I don't get them around where I live. I got to order them online or go to Whole Foods, which is in another borough from where I live. So I can't just walk across the street or go, you know, I have to actually get on the train or have my husband drive me, you know, to the store to go to Whole Foods or I order it online, which I normally do. But, um, yeah, so, uh-uh, wait, I'm not wasting this. That's going to be eaten, eaten. So, hopefully this will bake a little better. But any other time I want my um dough like this, <laughs> the cookie to come out like that, nope. I actually like cookie with that. I don't know if I'll be able to lift that up. That thing is flat like pancakes. So I'm going to come back when everything, when I put everything in the pan. Okay, y'all. Putting this in the oven. We're going to see how this turn out. If this don't turn out, you know, I'm just going to stick to my, um, my old nasty. Let me stop. But I'm just going to, if I, this don't turn out. You know, I'm going to just stick to my, my my recipe, my chocolate chip recipe. So, I'm going to put this in the oven for five minutes. Okay, let's check on the cookies. Turn the oven off. All right. Ooh. Oh. Uh. I let it sit to it get a little, you know. I mean, it held it, well, the reason why I held this shape is because, um, it's in the whoopie pie pan. One minute. All right, y'all. This is my attempt at many chocolate chip cookies, but I don't know how many they are. They now became a whoopie pie, um, not whoopie pie, uh, Deep dish cookies. I don't know. So, I let it bake in the oven for five minutes. I let it sit in the oven with the um, flame off for one minute. And then here it is. Now I got to let it sit so it gets room temperature. I'm going to have to come back in another video and um, taste it for you guys. All right, y'all. I'm going to put this in the deep freezer. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I had to take off my robe. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. So, I didn't put it in the refrigerator. I just let it sit here for 10 minutes. So, here we go. Mm. Look how thin it is. Ooh. Ooh, that just broke like that. It's still hot. Still a little warm in there. Let's say grace. Amen. Okay, we're going to taste it, y'all. Taste test. Thur. Give me a minute. Okay. It's good. And y'all, I'm not supposed to be eating sweets. Ooh. It's so good. What is going on with this phone? Taking pictures on the counter here. Y'all, this is the finished product. And I have 12 of these. I made a dozen. Mm. I don't think I'll be able to get that other one off the baking pan to eat it. But it's good. It's good. I'm going to give it some milk. Mmm. Okay. I'm not going to eat it now. Mmm. It's gooey. Mmm, would I make this again? Honest opinion? Yeah, I'll make it again. But, instead of three-fourth cups plus one tablespoon, I'm just going to add one cup of flour. And this is how it came out. Soft in the middle and crunchy on the end. This foam. That foam don't stop. See, it's soft in the middle and it's, cr and it's, and it's crunchy on the end. Um, it's, it's chewy in the middle and it's, and it's crunchy on the end. 
Mmm. So what should I call this? Soft, chewy, soft and chewy, mean chocolate. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the title. Soft and chewy. Oop. Soft and chewy chocolate chip cookie. Mmm. I'm eating this whole one because I just started. Mmm. It's good. I love how it's soft in the middle and chewy at that on the sides. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I'm glad I didn't do it the first way. I'm glad I didn't make it the first way how I made it before. I'm, I'm glad I baked some and then saved the rest and then, you know, see how it came out. Anywho, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Y'all should try these. Bye. Peace. Love and hand grease.